We've got a new study by the National Center for Public Policy Research, and it shows that young people would save money by skipping Obamacare, just pay the penalty, 95 bucks in the first year. Congressional candidate, the youngest in the nation, is from Virginia, he's a Republican, his name is Ron Meyer, and he joins us now. Ron, welcome back, good to see you again. Thanks, dude, I appreciate it. Is that accurate, that if a youngster, a 20-something, for example, pays the penalty, $95, foregoes health insurance, they're better off than if they actually went into an Obamacare exchange. Is that accurate? Well, if you think saving a thousand bucks is better off, then yes. We have three million young people who are going to save a thousand bucks if they don't go into the exchanges. And what I'd say is, yes, that's worth it to save a thousand dollars, especially in this economy where a lot of these people are underemployed and they don't have the money to uh, to buy. They don't have the money to, to pay rent, much less spend an extra thousand dollars for insurance. We aren't addressing the problem, which is affordability. We put this whole law sure. on the backs of young people in the first place, and it's just gonna it's gonna fall on its face. But if I'm if I'm a youngster, twenty something, and I I'm not earning very much money and I go to one of these exchanges I'm gonna get heavily subsidized aren't I I'm not gonna pay full freight am I I mean sure I'm but, gonna but get even with the subsidy sub right well even with the subsidies the problem is we still have three million people who could save a thousand dollars even with the subsidies included and the problem is because of the because they'd save so much money uh, the Obamacare law actually estimates that we'd have 2.7 million young people enter the market. The problem is those estimates are going to be a million people short if the people who could save $1,000 don't get in. And that includes the subsidies. So the subsidies help some people, but they don't help, especially when we have an economy like this one, where young people you know, can't find good starter jobs. They're making the twenty four dollars to $26,000 range. And so they don't qualify for an incredible subsidy, but they have a little bit. But it's still, uh, it's still very, very, very expensive. Do you think that the Obamacare and its impact on young people is enough to sway the vote of young people away from the left, away from President Obama and towards you, young Republicans. Do you think it's that strong? Well, we definitely are taking this message to young people. I think the key is, if we would have done it in the first place with Obamacare, it may have not passed. This bill was actually sold as a great thing to young people, but it's put, like, the, whole, the entire price, the cost is put on young people's backs at a time where we have the highest youth unemployment, highest structural youth unemployment since the Great Depression, and we have, uh, you know, 50% of young people being underemployed. And so it's the wrong time to put the cost of this monumental bill onto young people. And so I think if we take that message to people who are struggling, take it to people who are vulnerable right now, and actually have a softer message as Republicans. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you personally, when I talk to young people on college campuses and in younger communities, like ones I was talking to yesterday, it resonates with them that young people are being targeted and we need an advocate in Congress. We need more advocates in Washington. And Republicans need to take that mantle. We must take that mantle if we want to have a future in this country. All right, Ron, we hear you. And by the way, the president is addressing some college audiences later this week yes. and I believe into next week as well. Ron Meyer, everybody, thanks very much for joining us, sir. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Stuart. Thank All you. Right.